How do nuts boost fat burning within the body? A paper out of Texas A&M last year suggests that it may be the arginine content of nuts. How does arginine get the job done? Uh, they're not sure. The underlying mechanisms are likely complex at molecular, cellular, and whole body levels. In other words, they have no clue. But they do review the evidence that it may involve the stimulation of mitochondrial biogenesis, more power plants per cell, and uh, brown adipose tissue development, which is what our body uses to generate body heat, so we'd be converting more of our fat into heat. Either way, they suspect arginine to play an important role in fighting the current global obesity epidemic. Well then, where in the diet can we find arginine? I'll give you a hint. According to the CDC, 78 million Americans aren't getting enough. So you know the top few sources have got to be in healthy foods, because no one's getting any. And indeed, here's the list for the top 15 food sources of arginine you'd likely find in a typical store. Number one, isolated soy protein, uh, which is what they make uh, veggie burgers and meat-free hot dogs and the like out of. Number two, pumpkin seeds and squash seeds. Uh, number four, watermelon seeds. Isn't that crazy? Not as crazy as number five, fried pork rinds. I'm not kidding. Uh, maybe Americans should be getting more than I think. Number six, barbecue flavor uh, pork rinds. It must just uh, concentrate in the skin. Uh, number seven, sesame seeds. Number eight, peanuts. Uh, number nine, soybeans. Uh, number 10, peanut butter. And then tahini, sesame seed paste. Uh, almonds, number 13, pine nuts, number 14, fava beans, and number 15, sunflower seeds. So, basically, soy, seeds, nuts, and beans for arginine. Although dried beluga whale meat evidently has a lot, the first non-pork rind animal food that you could actually find in a typical store clocks in the USDA database at number 95th down the list, bacon.